I've created what is possibly the stupidest bot to ever play Mario Party. All it knows how to do is completely random inputs with no logic at all. Its name? Randy. And today, we'll be seeing how many Mario Party Superstars minigames Randy can win, starting with Mushroom Mixup. Now, for some minigames like this one, while it's technically possible for Randy to win, it's so improbable that we'd never see it happen in our lifetime, so I'm gonna mark this one as not possible. Similar story with Bombs Away. Tiny wobbling islands do not go well with random inputs. All right, Randy, now pay close attention. Make sure you... Okay, let's try that again. Wow, bold strategy. Guessing before he even puts up the flag. You know, I think Randy might actually be a psychic. Okay, crazy cutters time. What are the odds Randy gets a perfect score here? Uh, not very high. This one might be possible if Randy can go ultra instinct mode, but it looks like he's going stuck in the bottom right corner mode instead. After many tries, I'm gonna call this one impossible. The good news about Dizzy Dancing is that reversed controls have no effect on Randy. The bad news is, I don't think he knows what he's supposed to be doing. I was about to call this one impossible, but then Randy locked in and earned a big win with a high score of... 1. Hey, we'll take that. Alright, let's see how Bumper Balls goes. Okay, that went about as expected, but let's give him a chance on the other two stages. Who knows, maybe he'll surprise us. Okay, Randy, you got this one. All you need to do is jump. Hopping straight into a heated tank battle now. Looks like Daisy is targeting Mario, Yoshi is targeting Daisy, and Randy is targeting a fence. You know, everyone has their own strategy in this game and it looks like it worked out because everyone is a winner. Okay, bold strategy by Randy here, keeping his balloon very exposed. Let's see how that plays out. After a few more attempts though, he finally realized he's actually supposed to use the spiky side of his cart. Over to Sneak and Snore, where Randy is surprisingly good at not being caught by the chain chomp. But at the pace he's going, there's just not enough time for him to make a full escape. So even when he's the last one remaining, the game still ends in a tie. But for that, I will award Randy a half of a point. Yeah. Alright, so for this one, Randy, what you need to do is push A and B at the same time. I don't think he's quite figured that out yet. Time for a race now, let's hop right in. Okay, a little too eager there, but oh my goodness, look at Randy go. He's zooming. Yeah, that's gonna be an easy win. Ooh, Bowser's big blast. As you probably know, this mini game is literally all random blind luck. So that means Randy should be great at this. Okay, uh, regardless, this one is obviously possible. Ooh, yeah, this one's gonna be tough. I may have forgotten to teach Randy how to count. That's a, that's a good guess, Randy. Nice try. Ah. Honeycomb Havoc is kind of similar to Bowser's Big Blast, but this one actually has some strategy and math involved, neither of which are Randy's strong suits. But this one is definitely possible to win, especially if your opponents willingly choose to have beehives fall on their heads. Yeah. Onto Snowball Summit now, and I don't think Randy understands how to make a snowball. He does understand how to walk off of a mountaintop though. Ice Rink Risk surprisingly proved to be an easy one for Randy. Look at him dodging shells out there like an absolute champ. Okay, let's see how Bounce and Trounce goes. Over to Storm Chasers, where Randy is out here dodging the rain like his life depends on it. This one might be possible, but after many attempts, the best Randy ever placed is third, so I'm gonna mark this as a no. Alright, Mushfit also might be possible if Randy is able to steal one of these big mushrooms. Okay, yeah, I ran this game a bunch of times and that was literally the only time Randy even got the mushroom, so... Ooh, yeah, this one is not gonna end well. 
It looks like Randy's still trying to swim while he's inside the fish though. And for that, he's rewarded with a tie. Yeah. Now for chip shot challenge, the goal is to get the ball as close to the hole as possible. So let's see how Randy does. Right. But what's that saying? Even a broken clock is right twice a day? Well, Randy is the best broken clock I've ever seen because after just a few tries, he was able to come away with a victory. Let's see if Randy's driving skills translate to horse racing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say they don't. Okay, Randy, I believe in you. Just take a close look here and try to memorize where all these go. You got this. Oh, nope. Um, that one actually stays there. Okay. Yeah, this one is looking impossible. Wait, what? So if Crazy Cutters was any indication, I don't foresee this one going well for Randy either. But let's give him a chance. You never know. Okay, um, yeah. Bookworm is another one that might technically be possible, but after running this one and squishing Randy way too many times, the most pages he ever made it past was, uh, one. Okay, Paths of Peril. Good thing we've got Randy here to uh, inspect the safety of these fences. Also, yes, this one is definitely not possible. Randy out here, uh, taking a lot of strikes. Yeah, this one's also not possible. All right, Leaf Leap. And, oh, nice start, Randy. Keep it going. Or, you know, uh, stay on that leaf for a while. That's cool, too. Okay, Randy, in this one, you need to dodge the penguins. That is not what I meant. Randy out here on Coney Island looking absolutely terrified of ice cream, but I mean, it makes sense. Take a look at that skinny figure. On to Bill Blasters, where it looks like Randy's a little confused about what he's supposed to be shooting at, but after some practice and a little patience, he started to get the hang of it. Okay, Nightlight Fright. Let's see how this one goes. Hmm, I think the last game may have made Randy a little bit trigger happy, but you know, sometimes just pulling the trigger is good enough. Yeah. All right, time for another race. Here we go. Uh, Randy, you do know the race started, right? I mean, very kind of you to give everyone a one lap handicap, but I hate to break it to you. You're really not a good enough skater to make up that ground. Over to catch you letter where Randy actually picks up a letter pretty quickly. But again, he seems a bit confused about what to do with it. But you know, the shy guy also runs around randomly though. So they have this sort of natural connection that's good enough to make this one possible. Yeah. All right, Randy, for this one, you want to catch as many Goombas as you... Okay, let's try that again. There we go. That's much better. Over to what goes up, and oh, nice job, Randy. I didn't think you would make it up there. Oh, well, okay. All right, snowboarding time. Let's see that spin. Taking a page out of Luigi's book, I see. Okay, this one is gonna be tough. I think Randy might actually enjoy being underground, but let's see how he did. Oof, so close. On to the final countdown. Let's go ahead and count down the seconds before Randy... Uh, one. All right, Randy, let's see those hammering skills. Okay, Randy, for this one, you gotta pay attention. See, Yoshi just found the correct door literally right next to you. Okay. Oh no, not another counting one. Who knows though, maybe he got better since the last time. He did not. All right, Randy, this one is simple. All you need to do is jump on this platform and look at the camera. Okay, not quite. So yeah, after many attempts, Randy never even made it up on the platform, but he did punch Mario in the butt once, so that was pretty cool. Rapid River Race, this one is definitely gonna be impossible. Wait a second though, Randy is actually kinda cooking right now. All right, never mind. Yeah, this is more of what I was expecting. 
Hmm, looks like Randy's having some trouble finding the face here. But, you know, maybe he's just taking another page out of Luigi's book because apparently all you need to do to win this game is absolutely nothing. Okay, dark and crispy. For this one, Randy, you're going to have to avoid Bowser. No, that's not what I meant. The other Bowser game has walls though, so this one should be possible. It's pretty much like Ice Rink Risk, but for some reason, the CPUs are a lot better at dodging these giant spiky balls though. Plus there's a part where the ball slows down and just sits here in the middle for a few seconds, which is a big disadvantage for Randy since the CPUs will never run into this. So despite his best efforts and many, many attempts, Randy was not able to win this one. All right, on to the 1v3 game, starting with Piranha's Pursuit. Uh, nice try there, Randy. For all of these games, we'll be running them twice to see if Randy can win as the solo and the group of three. And through sheer willpower alone, he was able to lead his team to victory. So this one gets a half point. On to Tug of War, and it looks like Randy is not able to pull three people, but that's okay. Maybe he'll fare better in the group of three. Okay, never mind. Ooh, I think this one will also be tough for Randy. I'm just not sure he'll be able to fire off enough shots to take out all three. Oh, wait a minute. Just one more, actually. Okay, Randy, I am never doubting you again. And yeah, this one's also possible in the group of three. One thing Randy's got going for him in Look Away is that it is impossible to predict which way he'll be looking because he doesn't even know that himself. Ooh, yeah, so Randy isn't very good at ground pounding. Even when he does manage to pull one off, it's not enough to knock off the CPUs. And as a part of the group of three, the solo CPU always wins. Although Randy did have this one sweet jump, over to Boulder Ball, where I swear sometimes it felt like Randy booted up an aimbot with some of these snipes. Or maybe it's just because the CPUs run towards wherever you're aiming, but we'll definitely still take that. And unsurprisingly, it's possible to win as the group of three. Good work out there, Randy. You know what else Randy is good at dodging? Coca. Okay, maybe not, but luckily this time Daisy and Mario are too busy butt slamming Yoshi here and completely forgot about Randy. Now, he's not quite as good at launching coconuts, but that's okay. Yeah. Alright, Randy, time to avoid some spotlights. Let's see what you got. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this one. I guess Randy's just the kind of guy who loves being in the spotlight. But after a bunch of tries, he eventually clutched one out and then proceeded to win on the first try in the group of three. Yeah. Hide and Sneak is a game that was made for Randy. No level of mind games has any effect on him. He will choose randomly and he will find you. All right, now it's time for Cristiano Randaldo to show off some of his skills. First with an absolute goalkeeping clinic, followed by a goal-scoring frenzy. Easy wins for Randy. Yeah. Squared Away is a tough one, though. A free spirit like Randy needs much more room than this to spread his wings. Good job uh, sealing off that corner in the group of three, though. Hmm, I don't think Randy understands what he's supposed to be doing in this one. It looks like he's just having a nice time tubing down this slope. But after showing that he can win a race against Daisy, he decided it's finally time for some mayhem. In the group of three, he played the uh, perfect decoy role, allowing his team to win. Pogo Agogo was an easy first try as the solo, but in the group of three, there's just too many obstacles to make this side possible. So we'll give another half point. Yeah. Same situation with Tackle Takedown, except reversed. Winning as the group of three is super easy, but maneuvering past these roided up freak athletes as the solo is just impossible. Yeah. All right, Randy, time to let out your inner psychopath in this one. Wow, uh, you didn't have to make it look that easy. Now for the group of three, what you want to do is hide behind those blocks so you... All right, well, that works too, I guess. Over to the 2v2 games now, starting with Bobsled Run. And it looks like we're off to a bit of a slow start here, Randy. But we can make up the time if you just... Okay, uh, 
testing out the structural integrity of the walls first, I see. I'm gonna be honest, I think Randy might be under the influence. Remember kids, don't drink and drive bobsleds. And especially don't drink and drive when there's lava beneath you. Uh, looks like Yoshi and Daisy may have had even more to drink though, so this one is actually possible. All right, Dungeon Dash. This one is hard for Randy on account of him never learning his left and right. I mean, just look at his gloves. No wonder why he's so confused. Yeah, so Randy, I don't think you want to just be uh, standing there. Now, this game always feels pretty random to me, so I'm sure Randy will do just fine. Honestly, Randy, if you just stay out of the way, I'm sure you'll do much better. And yep, would you look at that? Okay, Randy, we're really gonna need to pick up the pace here if you want to win. Yeah, this is not looking good. Oh, all right, we'll take that. For this one, Randy, all you need to do is put a strawberry on top of the cake. On top of that cake right there. There we go. Just one more now, you can do it. It's still the same exact process as last time. Yes, Randy, yes. Yeah. Looks like we got ourselves another race here. Randy going for a classic, uh, stay all the way to the left and bottom strat. Yep, see, that's why you don't go high. Now, Randy, it does appear like you are flying straight towards a tower, so you might want to, okay. But besides that whole uh, tower situation, Randy's kind of killing it right now. Over to Etch and Catch, a game that requires good teamwork and coordination. Right. Okay, Randy, all you need to do in this one is pick up those cherries and toss them over to Mario. Just toss them over, okay. You know, maybe he'll be better at catching them instead. All right, Randy, I believe in you. I said I would never doubt you again. Yes, drop it in, yes. Okay, uh, so the other team may have literally gotten uh, zero, but we take those. Yeah. On to Eats a Pizza, where just like the ice cream game earlier, it looks like Randy's still trying to maintain his slim figure. Whoa, Randy, that's gotta be enough food for like the next week. But yeah, this one's not possible. Ah. Speaking of not possible, how about a game that requires uh, specific button presses and precise platforming? Let's just say those aren't Randy's greatest strengths. Ah. All right, Randy, what you wanna do here is push the buttons whenever they light up. Just give it a press. Maybe not that one, okay. Oh, um, never mind. I guess you know what you're doing. Now for burn style, you want to make sure you jump over the giant spiky pole. Oh, I guess he wanted to go out on his own terms. And that's how you win this one, apparently. Rocky Road, another game where teamwork is key. And by that, I mean uh, giving your partner plenty of space to clear all of the rocks on their own. Good work, Randy. Okay, Randy, uh, just a thought. You may want to let your teammate move out of the corner there. But yeah, this one's definitely possible. Yeah. All right, onto the dual mini games now with TikTok Hop. Oh, wow, that was actually pretty close. But after trying a bunch more times, that was the closest Randy ever got. Okay, so I don't think Randy understands that he's supposed to swing to the other vines. And oh, there he goes. Come on, Randy, you can do it. Nice. Now let's see where Mario's at. Time for Motor Rooter. Randy is totally in his element here. High speeds in a contained track with randomly scattered boosts. It doesn't even matter that he's willingly shocking himself on all of these. Easy win for Randy. All right, Mass Meteor. This game is all about dodging meteors with great finesse and precision, which is a problem for Randy since he seems to love smashing his face into each and every one. And the last duel game we've got is Spin Doctor. Randy's having some trouble in this one, and it looks like Mario is even trying to let him win. But despite his best efforts, this one proved to be too difficult for Randy. All right, over to the coin mini games now, starting with hammer drop. Okay, surely this one will be impossible. 
No shot he just grabbed that on the first try. All right, uh, reel it in, Randy. There we go, keep it going. Come on, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Dude, I'm so sad right now. So I thought this one would definitely be impossible, but Randy is actually a god at grabbing these chests. Unfortunately though, reeling them in is a different story since it requires a persistent circular motion with the stick. But I said I wouldn't doubt him anymore, so I kept trying and trying and trying. And after many failed attempts, just as I was about to give up, this happened. You have got to be kidding me. Whatever, I don't care. I'm still counting this one as possible. Yeah. On to Parasol Plummet, a mini game you might think would be difficult for Randy. If you're a non-believer, all right, so looks like Randy is very selective about which boxes he wants to open. After a few tries though, he started to get a little less picky, collecting enough coins to make this one possible. Quicksand Cash is a 1v3 coin game, but the strategy is basically the same for both sides. All you need to do is play around in the sand for a bit, and you'll likely win. Oh, Randy, uh, I didn't mean like that, but that is a win though. Over to River Raiders, where Randy is going for another classic uh, hug the right wall strat. And I gotta say, he is executing it to perfection. Mario should have taken some notes. Yeah. Money belts as the solo is tough, especially if you have a tendency to run off every edge in sight. But winning in the group of three is obviously possible, so this one gets a half point. Yeah. Puddle Paddle is a game about paddling around and collecting coins. But why work harder when you can work smarter? Just call up some friends to push you around and you're good to go. Yeah. Cashapult was a pretty straightforward one for Randy. It only took him one try. Yeah. Now this game is called Winner or Dinner, but Randy's out here proving that you can be both the winner and the dinner. Yeah. All right, just a few games left. Let's see how good Randy is at volleyball. Ooh, that was a pretty close serve, but are they ready for the Randy spike? Okay, maybe he's better at hockey. And sure enough, through an inspiring display of great teamwork, cooperation, and just sheer physicality, Randy was able to come away with a dominant victory. Same story with Shell Soccer. I mean, just check out this long range pass from Randaldo over here. Okay, on to Mario's Puzzle Party now, a game that at first glance seems to not be favorable for random inputs, but I can assure you from years of playing Mario Party that the best strat for this game is to just stack blocks randomly high and fast and then hope for big combos, which is exactly what Randy is doing here. Stacking blocks high and randomly unfortunately does not work as well in Blockstar though. This one is impossible. And finally, our last minigame, we've got Stick and Spin. And as we sit here and observe Randy's genius for one final time, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my lovely supporters on Patreon. If you also want to help support me and Randy, there will be links for you to join both on screen and in the description. Finish. And with that win, that brings us to an even 50 out of 100 minigames that you can win with random inputs. What does this mean? I have absolutely no clue, but it's kind of beautiful in a way. Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see Randy do next. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.